Good morning. I thought I would show you how you can add a picture into Blackboard for your introduction. And so what better way to do it than to show you how I actually did this earlier this morning. So I will undo it and redo it so you can watch. Um, I'm actually in an instructor information area, but in any of the content areas, there's Sherry. Uh, here was my introduction and you can see I had this lovely photograph of me. So let's go into that and edit this area or you could have added a new item if you wanted to. And it'll take it just a second here to pop open. There it is. And you can see here's all of my information. I've stretched my uh, working area here by um, actually grabbing this corner here and making it larger so that I could see all of my um, input as well as my picture. Let's go down to the photo and let's just delete it here for a minute. So let's say you are ready to add a picture. It can be you know a JPEG, it can be a PNG, it can be something you grabbed with whatever software you have. So what I want to do is place my cursor down here where I want it the picture to be. Scroll up to look at all my options and you'll see along the bottom row here's the one for webcam. If you really want to show them um, a webcam of yourself you can do that. But I'm going to come over here to a, a insert an image and click on that. Now it comes up here and shows you where you can um, the things you can do with an image. We'll just keep it on general for now knowing we have to go out and browse my computer to find the picture. So I'll click on browse my computer. I happen to already have it opened up to where my pictures are and, and have this picture ready. So I'm just going to click on it. Click on open. It takes it a few seconds and then you'll see something that looks fairly large and that's scary, but don't worry about it. What we can do is go in, see, you can see if I stretch this out, I would be humongo, and, and that would just be too scary for words. So we're going to go into the Appearance tab, and, I, and it comes up to the dimensions that you already have, and you can see over here how it would kind of look in a, in a full screen. So what I'm going to do here is size it downward. These are in pixels. I'm just going to say 500 and that may be too much but I'm going to say that and go ahead and go back to the general area. Uh, I'm going to put a title in here or I actually I'm sorry an image description and I'm just going to put uh, Pat Williams photo and that's there really for people who have visual problems and they use a screen reader, it'll read for this alternate text and tell them that this is a photo and what it is. So that's the only reason that I do that, but it's important for us to do that. Insert, and whoa, there I am, almost as big as life. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit, click on the picture, and then you see you get these sizing handles like you normally do for for images. I'm going to come down to the bottom and you want to size this. There I've got the arrows pointing diagonally. Um, you can size your picture. Whoops, whoops. See if you get carried away you can make yourself pretty flat or pretty oops. So you want to get this the way you'd like it in the size that you would like it. And that's about proportional I guess. And scroll to the bottom. There really isn't anything else to do. You want permit pe permit users to view the content. So I just submit. And we'll scroll down. And here it is. So you should be able to do that as well. As long as your picture is uh, a normal digital type picture, uh, you shouldn't have any trouble doing that. If you try to capture something off of your computer, like a computer screen, you want to make sure, sure that the image is saved as either like a JPEG file or a, something like that. Oh my goodness, I've got something coming up here which I don't want. Sorry about the interruption. 
I believe we've covered um, all the parts we needed for this, so um, give it a whirl and see how you like it.